Hey guys, Adrian One Skill here. I'm back with another video for you guys. This is actually my like third or fourth take now. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. It's doing this. It just keeps shutting off itself, so it's not recording properly. So if you already seen the title, you already know what it is. I finally got it after about two weeks or so, or a little bit more than that. But yeah, I actually got this a couple days ago. So yeah, decided to just try and re-record re it now um, after tweaking the camera a little bit. So here we have is the Tales of Exilia 2. Uh, day one edition from Europe. Um, this was um, pre-order. You can pre-order this on a couple of sites. Um, one I use and first time using is um, www.game.co.uk. They do ship overseas, but um, in a small package like this, I was hoping it would be a slightly better or whatnot. But I guess not. Um, the package that they sh shipped it in was in a flimsy cardboard case-like thing. So. This is all it is, it's very thin, and it's very tight, so I don't even know how, if, if this can actually protect it or not, but, as, yeah, this is basically what it came in. Um, so I already, I pre-ordered the, um, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and, uh, Sa Alpha Sapphire, uh, it comes with Steelbook, so I'm hoping that comes in a bigger case, I don't know, so we'll have to see. Um, there is actually no damages on the steel, or uh, metal case itself. It's actually all on the um, slip case itself. It's barely visible, but once you take it out, you'll be able to seal it, uh, feel it, feel it, and actually see it. You might be able to catch a glimpse of it um, off the light reflected um, from the light and the uh, camera and whatnot. So yeah. So here it is. Here's the front cover. So this is basically it looks like um, the color and uh, design wise, it's like a regular cover of the uh, Tales of Exilia 2 um, release. And then the back, which shows you what he, what you got. So it comes with the music CD and uh, or selected CD by their uh, staff and the game itself. So take off the slipcase. So day one edition it says it on the slipcase. So this is actually a really nice way of doing it, um, in my opinion. Um, then the previous one that they or the previous couple that they did, uh, the Tales of Exilia one day one edition and the T Tales of Exilia or Tales of Graces F uh, day one edition. So. Here it is. It's a shiny gloss cover. Like I said, this is not a steel book. This is a metal case only. In Europe, they only released uh, metal cases uh, for this game, uh, while North America released an actual full steel book, uh, G2 steel book. So yeah. So here's the front. Uh, the uh, the title of the game is embossed and with the logo as well. And then the back just says Tales of Exilia 2. And like I said, as this is a metal case or metal pack, there is no spine. You pop it open, you'll see the music soundtrack uh, right here. So it is a selected soundtrack. I don't know how many it is. I'm assuming it's the same as the collector's editions uh, from both the UK or uh, Europe and um, North America, of course. And then it does come in a full-size manual, not colored, however, but still a manual, which I like about. And then a Bandai Namco co code that you can use. Um, anyone that wants this, I'm not going to register this. Um, you can go ahead and take it. So yeah. So first come, first serve. And then the game itself. So metal packs do not have inside arts. That's a shame. But this is a really nice metal pack. Um, they did um, a metal pack uh, for the Tales of Exilia 1 as well, uh, which had um, Tipo on it. And I actually did an unboxing for that last year. Um, yeah, I'll leave you guys a link right here. Uh, that's um, for the... Uh, Tales of Exilia 1 um, Europe edition or unboxing so I actually have it here right here so the design um, for the uh, collector's edition in then Europe is basically like this except um, the character they use is Rolo the cat um, the one that they show in the game and that's um, uh, basically uh, Ellie's partner or no is it Ellie? I already forgot her name already so um, Basically the same thing, except it's got Rolo and it's white, and it is a metal pack, like I said, so there is no steelbook for it. And then, just showing off some of the other couple of steelbooks that I have for the Tales series. So this is the most, one of the other re most recent ones is the Symf uh, Symphonia Chronicles for the 10th anniversary. They may release a steelbook for it. Uh, I have my receipts in here. So it shows the uh, Japanese art uh, release cover and whatnot. Instead of the North America one, back on Nintendo GameCube and the Nintendo Wii. Those games are so were kind of rare, so I'm kind of glad they released this. 
And then, of course, if you guys haven't ever seen my unboxing, actually, um, I, had, I did an unboxing for the Symphonia right here, so check that out if you haven't already. And then, of course, the Tales of Exilia 2, North America, uh, Collector's Edition. So I did an unboxing for that right here, so you guys can go and check it out. And um, I'll also be putting up another video um, if, at the same time as this, so take a look at that. It's the... Um, Kind of like the Tales of Exper Vesperia uh, Xbox 360 Steelbook unboxing, but um, it was just a package from a friend, so I just decided to do it in the video. So you guys can take a look at that right there. And um, that's all I've got for the, this week. And with Destiny coming out in about... At this time now, uh, I'm recording this two days, and I've got the um, limited edition pre-ordered, but I won't be getting it day one, as I ordered it from the States, so that's a shame. I will not be getting it until probably later this week, or at worst, next week. So, I'm going to be a little behind on levels and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, as always, if you like or like the content of this video, subscribe, hit that like button. And, if you think I can improve, um, leave a comment below. And, of course, this is an almost... Technically, it's already over my. Um, it's a little bit over my one-year anniversary now for doing this video. Um, so I'm kind of glad I'm kind of still doing this. And um, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy, and see you guys later.